Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and thanks to Dave at DPD Productions and I'll put a link down below in the description box I have an opportunity to demonstrate a really cool product for you guys on the channel today this is a commercial grade antenna vertical antenna or mobile antenna with NMO mount base and magnet with RG58U cable specifically designed for the general mobile radio service this comes tuned when you order specific for GMRS frequencies now I've tested this on the wife's car and the SWR is one to one when I use my older AudioVox GMRS-1535 radio here with the external antenna adapter the antenna itself has 5.5 dB of gain and I won't bore you with the math on that just suffice to say that for every 3 dB of gain you're effectively doubling your power so we're almost at 6 dB it's a really good antenna it performs really well a lot of quality went into this antenna it's all commercial grade you have nice commercial grade thick antenna element there again you have NMO mount with a quality magnetic base here unlike the little tiny magnets you get so you put this on the car and you're doing some speed this isn't going to blow off it has a nice rubber gasket on the bottom to protect the finish of the paint of a vehicle but you can also use this antenna in the base configuration so in this video what we're going to do is I'm going to use my GMRS radio here and for those of you who will ask I do have a GMRS license and this is a GMRS specific radio this isn't a bubble pack radio so you can have the external antenna we're going to set this antenna up with the watt meter and the SWR meter and we're going to look at the SWR of this commercial grade antenna specifically built for the general mobile radio service as compared to this import antenna that's often bundled with or sold with those cheap import radios that a lot of people buy for emergency preparedness and the purpose of this video is actually to show you a quality difference uh, with a good antenna you're actually improving the performance of your equipment and that's what this is all about everybody buys equipment and wants the best they can get out of it so that's what we're going to demonstrate here if you have a good radio with a good antenna your system's going to perform better and you're going to have more dependable communications so let me move the camera and get this set up and we'll actually show you what the SWR looks like or the standing wave ratio with this antenna compared to one of the import antennas so we have our test set up here what we're using is an older AudioVox GMRS 1535 GMRS radio this radio does not have the family radio service capability bundled with it which is why you can have the external antenna if you see radios out there that won't let you take the antenna off it's probably because it has the family radio service component in there and FCC regulations don't allow external antennas on the family radio service so I'm going to transmit into this antenna system here one watt for those of you who haven't watched my previous videos on how to use a cross needle SWR meter, we'll cover it real briefly here. There's two needles here on the left and the right. The left hand needle reads forward power. That means power leaving the radio going to the antenna. And that's what we're after. We want to push all that power to the antenna. So this needle will rise clockwise this way. And that'll tell you how much forward power you have. Now we have this set up to PEP, which means the needle is going to rise and fall as the power is there and then we have it set to times one scale or one watt so one full deflection equals one watt the needle here on the right is the bad needle this is reflected power this is power that we send to the antenna but because the antenna is not tuned correctly sends that power back to the radio which uses up extra energy creates heat in the front end of your radio causes loss in your system and can damage your equipment so when setting up antennas for radio communications you want all forward power and as little reflected power as possible now being a cross needle watt meter here or SWR meter these little red lines in the center are actually the SWR ratio and typically a vendor wants two to one or less of SWR so as these needles rise they'll actually cross each other creating like an X in the center here and then you read that on that red line scale and it'll tell you what the SWR is but with DPD's antenna, you're not going to have to worry about it because there is no reflective power. It works perfectly. And I'm going to demonstrate right now. We're on channel 1, the GMRS radio band, and I'm going to key up this radio. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got a little over 1.3 watts of power out. And no reflective power. The needle barely budges, but we got full forward power. So let's go ahead and hit it again. That's channel 1. Full forward power, no reflective power that's what you get when you buy a commercial product when you buy quality equipment so we're going to go ahead and change this radio to channel 15 
So we'll go to the opposite end of that band and see if we still have any forward or reflected power issues. So we'll go ahead and transmit again. And there you go. A full 1.3 watts from the radio out to the antenna and none of it coming back. And that's exactly what you want. So that shows you that this is a quality antenna that's perfectly tuned to operate on the general mobile radio service. And that's what you want when you're putting together comms plan for emergency preparedness. What I'm going to do now is set up the import antenna that a lot of people see bundled with these cheap Chinese import radios. And you can see what the difference is on the SWR meter. Okay, so we have the cheap antenna. I think I paid 16 bucks from Amazon hooked up to the back of the watt meter. Again, we were using the AudioVox GMRS 1535 radio. Puts out about 1.3 watts. I'll go ahead and zoom in on the meter here so you can see the two needles. Sorry about the camera work. Make sure it gets in the focus there. There we have it. So we're going to go ahead and key up now and you can see the difference in the two antennas between the commercial grade and the cheap import antenna. And there you have it. Now you can see that reflected power needle come up and it looks like it's crossing at about 2.5 to 1. Most amateur radio manufacturers say it should be 2 to 1 or better down the other way. So looking at this, this is exceeding what most amateur radio manufacturers call for. So you have high SWR and what this does is it causes heat in your equipment. It consumes extra power you don't need to waste and you're losing power going to the antenna. So you're not getting the most out of your system. That's why I really like the DPD commercial antenna. With that antenna for 70 bucks, you are going to get the most out of your radio equipment if you use GMRS as part of your emergency communications plan. Something else I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to put some links down below to where you can access some formulas on effective radiated power. FCC regulations prohibit exceeding effective radiated power of 5 watts and the DPD antenna has 5.5 dB of gain. So there's a lot of gain in that antenna. So you have to know the output transmitter power of your radio and with these formulas you can calculate to make sure you're staying within the regulatory limits set by the FCC. With this radio if I were to get the 1.8 watts out that's listed in the manual, I'm not. With the 1.8 out of this radio going to the DPD 5.8 whip antenna the affected radiated power would be around 4.9 watts. There's about a dB of loss in the coax cable so that comes right off the top of the gain and then you have some loss with the connectors but I'll put all those links down below so I hope you enjoyed this video this will not be the last video I make with this antenna we're gonna pack it up and take it out to the retreat location this weekend and try setting up some communications between two ridge lines to actually show the improved performance with this antenna so as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with a video on DPD's double 5 8 whip GMRS specific mobile antenna thanks for watching guys